that one with the coin is what I got out of in the end for Valentine's Day. I managed to get my card to work on Amazon. Awesome. And this is what she got me. Hurley. Because, and I really can't overemphasize this point, nerd relationships are the best. Well, I discovered something extremely important today for the future of my plans and whatnot for what I'm going to be doing to make a living over the course of the next few years. And that is, I don't really know how to make videos, at least if I'm not in them. I know how to do this. Years of podcasting and I guess teaching and just generally being able to communicate with people, which if you knew me in real life, you wouldn't believe that. I, I can do this because conversation in real life really isn't a skill for me, but I can stand up in front of big groups of people and talk at them. I used to do it. I was a business development manager for a bank for a long time where my job was basically standing up in front of big groups of rich people and talking at them. Teaching is standing up in front of big groups of people and talking at them. Doing YouTube. Effectively, I'm i am certainly come into it with the same mindset of I'm standing in front, well I'm sitting, but I'm in front of a big group of people talking at you, you just all live in the camera. And I can do that, I'm not so hot one-to-one -one conversation stuff, but I think, I think to a much greater extent than I thought, I get away with not really knowing how to make videos by the fact that I've got a lot of experience of doing this and it doesn't always come across. Sometimes I have to edit more ums and errs out of the videos than others. Sometimes I still go off on a tangent that can end up somewhere really cool, can end up somewhere really boring, but by and large I can decide that I'm going to talk for a certain amount of time about a certain topic and then just go and do it. And because I can do that, a lot of these daily vlogs actually become me sitting in my garage talking to you directly into the camera for eight to ten minutes a day which is fine it's not what i intended to do when this started i'd just watched 300 casey neistat videos in a row over the christmas holidays when i decided to do this and i had these grand plans that it was going to be that kind of vlog when realistically it never was going to be that because of what i do for a living i can't take my camera to work with me I can't film anywhere near where I work. I can't go out and film on my lunch break because I can't risk filming students or filming behind the scenes of what I do. It's just not professional with the job that I do. So it was never going to be that kind of vlog as much as I wanted it to be. And I'm, I'm fine with this. I'm comfortable with this. Far more people turn up to this every day than I ever expected to. We might not be growing subscribers very much at all, but we're getting a, we're getting a consistent five, six, seven hundred people a day coming along, listening to me, talking to a camera, which is awesome. And it's a lot more daily views than I was getting on the gaming channel and had a similar level of subs. So if I can crack a way to get this out into the wider universe, then I guess you're enjoying it because you come back every day and that's ace. But anyway, back to what I was actually supposed to be talking about. I made a video at work today. It's the second time I've done that. I did it about a year ago. I filmed an art exhibition on my phone and it was okay. Um, it was fine. It was, there wasn't much in the way of editing. It was all done over the space of three or four minutes where I just walked around, talked to a few people, took some pictures of what was there. And because it was all squashed into this three or four minute period, it was quite easy to build a, a story out of it, build a video out of it. And it was okay. So I went in there today with a much grander plan. We had a, a PSHE day um, or a PSHE morning at school, which if you have no idea what that is, it's basically where the students get to do all the stuff that's like wider education stuff. So they do careers and health and nutrition and I don't know, CV making and mental health stuff, stress management, how to revise probably loads of other stuff. I don't teach it very often. And when I do, it tends to always be the same things. But I had half of year eight at my disposal today, um, teaching them, which is like getting on for, I don't know, 80 to 100 kids. Um, it was four hours of career stuff. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make a film about this 
for the school YouTube channel. We have one, it's all right. The video will still make it on there eventually, probably when it does, I'll let you know, I'll link to it. You can go and have a look if you really wanna go and have a look. It's not very good. I'll, I'll put that out there now. I had probably an hour to an hour and a half of footage and I really struggle. It made me really see just how much I struggle with that editing process because having that much footage and trying to turn that into a five to 10 minute film that had a beginning, a middle and an end and a message and wasn't rubbish was really, really difficult. And it made it really clear to me how much of what I do with the vlog and the football manager videos and everything else that I do is I have my topic in mind. I record it over a really short period of time. Even when we're vlogging out and about, you'll notice that the, the actual vlog story for that day, more often than not, takes place really close together. It will be a snapshot of a 45 minute period of my day. I don't, I don't do the whole, hi, it's the morning, I'm waking up. Right now I'm on my way here. I'll be back with you when I'm done. Oh, it's two hours later, here I am again. Because partly, again, because of the nature of what I do, but I, I don't do that at the weekend either. Because, I'm, and I tell, I've always told myself a lot of the reason for that is because what I do often isn't that interesting. Usually my weekends involve me making videos and editing podcasts and doing a bit of writing and playing some video games. There's not a lot going out and about and doing interesting stuff. So when we do, it's really condensed. So it becomes a condensed story. But I think the fact that I've stumbled into doing it that way makes the storytelling stronger because it just becomes a mobile version of this, of me talking into a camera. I'll pause every now and again, but I'm not losing the, the core of the story. Yesterday's video was a prime example of that. I knew we were going to go out and I was going to talk to you about the fact that we were going to churches. A story developed from there and that whole whole video was made in the course of about 45 minutes other than the bit that we tagged on the end, which that was something I had to consciously force myself to do because I knew I'd started that video because it was supposed to be part two of what on earth am I going to do about Valentine's Day. So that's why that bit came in at the end. But it was a, an exception rather than the rule trying to take a whole pile of footage and build a story and build a video out of that. Oh, it was so hard. I now know where I need to focus my learning and where I need to focus my reading and my YouTube viewing over the next couple of months if I am gonna do this whole YouTube thing full time because it's not always gonna be this way when I'm not going to the same place day in, day out, when life starts to have a little bit more variety and there's a few more interesting stories that just spontaneously appear out of a day. I need to be in a position where I can capture that and turn it into something, even if I don't know what this story, what the video is gonna be about before I start. And that's the key, that's, that's the essence of what I'm trying to get to. Every single video that I've put out on this channel on the other channel as well, I don't always know the results of the, well, I don't ever know the results of the games, but I know roughly where the episode could go. I know what it's gonna be about. Every video I've produced that's been any good, I've known where it was going before I started. I've known what the beginning, the middle, and the end were gonna be. And this video that I did today, I didn't have that. And because of that, it was rubbish. So there you go, that was, <laughs> I said I could do it, that's eight to 10 minutes of why Kev can't make YouTube videos yet. So at some point it'll appear, I'll let you see it when it does. It is Valentine's Day though, so I can't spend all evening out in my garage. Me and Anna are both awesome. We got ourselves pop final figure things. We didn't plan that. There was no agreement that we were gonna do that. The thing I got her was very much a last minute thing that I just got on Amazon last night when I just tried again with my card. They still didn't like it, but they let me use it and it came today and she'd already planned to get me a very similar thing and that's why we're awesome.